device for cervical cell sampling. The design of cell sweep is optimal for cell harvest and cell transfer. Cell sweep has the capacity of simultaneous endo and ecto cervical sampling. It is soft, malleable, and adaptable to individual cervical variations. This device samples the entire T-zone while remaining in close contact with the cervix. As a result of cell sweep's design and specific structure, the ectocervix is sampled twice simultaneously in a 360 degree motion. This portion of the device can be used for ectocervical and vaginal sampling, such as post-hysterectomy and pregnancy. The following is actual footage of pap smears taken with cell sweep. This is a cervix with no visible abnormalities. The insertion of cell sweep must be gentle and complete. While the solid blade samples the ectocervix in a 360 degree clockwise motion, the bristles accommodate variations in cervical anatomy. Gentle and steady pressure applied to the ectocervix assures proper sampling. To ensure a complete 360 degree rotation, it is recommended to finish the rotation 15 degrees beyond a 360 degree turn. After sampling is completed, no bleeding is noted. In this case, cell sweep is manually bent to accommodate the direction of the cervical canal. This is a cervix with mucopurulent discharge at the level of external os. To accommodate these cervical variations, cell sweep may be maneuvered for complete and proper insertion into the cervical canal. While the endocervical canal is being sampled, the ectocervix is simultaneously being sampled by the solid blade and the bristles that are remaining outside the cervix. After sampling is completed, no bleeding is noted. After the pap smear, 5% acetic acid is applied to the cervix, followed by Lugol solution. The staining demonstrates the extent of the lesion, which was covered in entirety by cell sweep during sampling. The capability of cell sweep is unique in transferring harvested material. Cell sweep lacks at the edge of the slide, assuring a steady motion and uniform spreading. To spread the endocervical sample, flip the device as shown and spread the harvested material on the bristle smoothly and evenly on the slide. Before spreading the ectocervical sample across the slide, flatten the material by using a quick back and forth motion to remove any air bubbles and ensure a smooth and even sample. Transferring is as important as harvesting the cells. Using cell sweep, the slides are uniform and the cell sweep system is almost always reproducible.